like the one she can say neither last songs are loveless. She can spell it, she can say neither last songs are loveless. Say it with me. Neither last songs are loveless. If you can say it, you qualify. But if you cannot say it, what that says shift. Hi everyone, welcome to the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe. If you are new on this channel, we talk about life in Germany, settling in Germany, enjoying yourself in Germany, integrating in the German system. We don't only talk about the bureaucratic aspect all the time. We also go on trips together so you know which trips you should take, which cities you should visit, what you can do at what time, which festivals are out there. Listen, this is life in Germany for you to enjoy. So if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do, please do. Also, I'm from Ghana, so there will be some Ghanaian elements in my videos. So also on this channel, so if you're from Ghana, if you're from Nigeria, if you're from West Africa, in fact, if you're from Africa, you are an expert. Akwaba, miawezo, now welcome, okay. Quick announcement, not quick, but it has to be done. Guys, our family is growing, okay? We have passed a thousand subscribers. I'm just, whew, I keep looking at the number, I'm like, hey, is that us? Is that us? It is. So I want to thank you watching me today. You have supported me. My networks, you know, YouTube has been, has made it for me to network with other African women who are empowering each other encouraging each other in this journey and it is so beautiful i want to say a big shout out to all of you i don't want to stop mentioning it because i will forget some of you so i want to say a big thank you to everybody who has shared this channel who has subscribed who has commented engaged with this channel before thank you so so much i really truly appreciate you okay so what does thousand subscribers mean it means that one we have a community tab on the channel as well so please go and check it out that's why I post updates on things that you're supposed to things that you can expect so videos that are going to come out content I'll be also creating polls so I'll be asking you what you would like to see on this week what you'd rather see next week so please check that out and also engage you might also be seeing advertisements before or during this video please don't be skipping them okay that's where my coins come from okay watch them to the end, I beg, okay? Please, cling, cling, cling. But yes, 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 we are celebrating, we are growing. Road to 10K, are you with me? Say amen. For Jesus, could they amen? You're up for 10,000K, okay? So support me, like, comment, and share these videos. Subscribe if this is your first time, you are most welcome. Life in Germany, made in Germany. This is what this channel is about, okay? Right. Let's get into today's video. Today's video is about the German Settlement Permit or the German Permanent Resident Permit or the Unbefristet. That's what Ghanaians call it, Unbefristet. And it makes sense because it is the resident permit that is unrestricted in time, okay? When it comes to time, it is not restricted. So Unbefristet, unlimited, okay? That's how Ghanaians call it. Or as Germans say, as the legal term or the official term of this kind of permit says, it says, neither lessons and loveness. Neither lessons and loveness. If you can pronounce this, you are eligible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just joking. <laughs> so let's start with some of the advantages of the neither lessons and loveness or the residence um, permit or the permanent residence permit or the settlement permit. Let's talk about the advantages, disadvantages almost none so let's talk about the advantages and then we'll move on to what is required of you what you actually have to bring and then the documents which documents and then there are also certain groups i call them the fast track groups you know so that's how this video is going to go we'll talk about advantages what is required of you which documents and then we'll talk about the fast track groups which groups of people can actually have it quicker and easier okay so if you want to know all about this if you are a student watching me if you're a student in germany watching me please watch to the end. You will benefit from this video. If you just got to Germany, watch it end up as well. If you are still outside Germany and thinking of coming to Germany, watch to the end because these things, the bound of an under of, like they are, they just build upon each other, okay? So you have got to, you apply for your visa, you stay for the three, five years, you finish your, your program, 
and then the next the next and next the next thing will come okay all right so let's get into today's video so what are some of the advantages of the settlement permit one it means that it is um, unlimited you don't have to keep renewing your staying permit you don't have to keep going back to rat house you do it once and for all till 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 you die basically you can live with this residence permit with this kind of residence permit so the permanent one right so that's one thing two you enjoy almost all the benefits of living in Germany almost like a citizen okay so that's the one step before citizenship that's what I call it. it's the last step before citizenship so you have almost all the things open to you and then that is one and then also you have to know that if you prefer to keep your citizenship so let's say you are Ghanaian you are Nigerian you don't want to um, renounce your current citizenship because of the German citizenship and you want to have the full benefits like open access to the job market and all of that then this is a very good um, option for you to keep so you can keep going home without having to apply for a visa and all of that because then somehow I wish I had kept the Ghanaian citizenship because of this um, option. I had the needle license alumnus. I had a needle license alumnus before I did the Ghanaian citizen, uh, the German citizenship. But as I said, I wanted to go. I wanted to have a say in what was going on here. That's why I changed. Okay, so if that doesn't concern you and you, feel, you still feel like, hey, I still want to vote in, in my home country. I still want to be able to exercise my rights in my own country. Then this is the best option for you but but you lose the permanent residence permit if you stay out of germany for more than six months okay so try not to exceed six months outside of germany else you lose your residence title all right all right now let's get into what makes you eligible okay what are the requirements you should have lived in germany for five years and at least 60 months of payment so the statutory pension scheme or any pension scheme similar to that. So your social assurance by trigger rent and you know all that. You have to prove that. You have to prove that you have a health insurance. Okay. You also have to prove that you have enough living space where you are. So you later in one of the documents, you also have to prove that you have your rental contracts and where you, and where you stay is enough for you and your family. Let's talk about money. You should also prove that you can provide for yourself, that your subsistence is secure, meaning that you are not also relying on any state's um, benefits payment. So you're not uh, relying on Arbeitslosengeld or any kind of thing like that. So you are earning enough for yourself. You are working or you are not working, but you have the title, you have the permission or the permit to work. That is one other thing that you should also look out for. And of course, the language. I know I, like the one she can say Niederlassungs Erlaubnis, she can spell it, she can say Niederlassungs Erlaubnis. Say it with me, Niederlassungs Erlaubnis. If you can say it, you qualify, but if you cannot say it, what that, says, shift. So let's get serious. You have to be able to speak the German language. You should be proficient. You should be able to prove that and also you also have to prove that you have integrated to the system so you know about the legal and the social setup so integration course you have to prove your certificate so any kind of certificate that proves that okay so now this is for the regular person the regular person who has lived here for the normal five years has paid his um has worked and paid his Rentenversicherungen and has paid his Rentenbeiträge, has paid his Sozialversicherungsbeiträge. This is the, for the regular person. If you came to Germany as a student, you have graduated, you have worked for two years at least, and you have paid these Beiträge as well for 24 months, you are also eligible to apply, okay? If you are a holder of the EU um, card, if the EU blue card, you also are eligible, but you should have paid the Sozialversicherungsbeiträge for at least 33 months okay fully 33 months all right that is another group and then for example if you're self-employed you should have lived in germany for three years and in those three years you should have um set up the business you also have to provide other things to prove that you have set up the business your business um the audit of your business and all of that you should also have to provide all of that as well but we'll get into that a bit later so stay tuned and then we also have the high qualified professionals they also have to get an approval 
by the Federal Employment Agency before they can actually apply. So if you're a highly qualified professional, you're a researcher or something like that, please um, also pay attention. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you check that out. Now, let us get into what document you have to bring. Passport pictures, so biometric passport pictures, okay? That's one thing, and they shouldn't be older than six months, so they should be current so they can see that this is you, your pretty, your handsome face, it's still current, okay? And then your passport should be valid, so a valid passport, but not a passport that is going to expire in the next year. Make sure that you have some years in it, so at least two to three years, um, so that they can give you the residence, um, per permanent residence permit. I would just say, if you know that it will expire in the next one or two years, just apply for a new one before you apply for the um, permanent residence permits, okay? Good. That's one. Two, you have to provide your rental um, agreement, so your meat fat clock basically to show how much clock meter you have, so how much square meters you live on, and if it's sufficient for you. So, as I said, the living space is important, that's how you prove it. You also have to bring a certificate to prove your integration, so integration course, certificate, your language course certificate, to show that you have passed these courses. If you have something similar, bring that as long as well. Next, you also need to bring the form with you, the form that you have duly completed. You can get the form online from your Alton Behörde's homepage, or you just make an appointment with them and you go and they give you the forms to fill. You also have your registration certificate, that also includes a proof of residence. So that is the Wohnungsgeberbestätigung. So the landlord would also then have to um, will also then have to confirm that they have given the apartment to you or the house or whatever it is. And um, the registration um, certificate is also your um, Anmeldebestätigung, basically that you also live there. Then you also have to bring the proof of sufficient funds, so your salary from the last three months, so your payslip from the last three months. You also have to provide confirmations of contributions to the pension scheme. So usually they send you a yearly report that um, is something for you to um, fall on and present to the authorities as well. And then if you are an employee, you also bring your employment contract and then also your last three months salary and then also your tax clearance, a tax clearance certificate. It comes from the tax office, that's the Steuerliche Unbedenklichkeitsbescheinigung, that you have basically cleared all your taxes, okay? If you're self-employed, you have to confirm that you are working, you have to also have the Steuerliche Unbedenklichkeitsbescheinigung, so the tax, um, the, tax, the tax clearance certificate, you should also have an audit done by a tax advisor, you also have your business registered, and you should also bring that certificate as well. So basically, if you hand in all these um, documents, so I think for the regular person, it's about 113 euros. For the self-employed, it's about 323. For the qualified professional, professionals, for the qualified professionals, it should be about 147. I'm not so sure, but I'm going to leave the links down below and I'm going to actually put the right numbers up here as well for you to know. So guys, this is the documents that you will need. And also remember that once you leave Germany for a period for more than six months, this settlement permit expires, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I hope you have covered everything. It's the last step to the German citizenship, so if you don't want to naturalize, this is also an option for you. And if you have any questions, guys, please do not hesitate to ask me. I am gladly going to reply. I have a few emails I have to reply to. Um, I'm going to do that by the end of the week, but still, feel free to send me your questions. I will gladly reply them. And do not forget to like this video, comment and share. Just share it to anybody who needs it. I'll be so grateful. If you have not joined the Phoebe Way family yet, please, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button, activate the notification bell. So anytime there is a new video every Sunday, you will be one of the first to know. So you don't miss anything, okay? So let me know what you want to see as well. Go on the community tab, check out what is there. If there is a poll, please engage in the poll and let me know what you would like to see next, okay? Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Hope this helped you. Have a fantastic week ahead and see you same time next Sunday. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay positive, stay hopeful. Bleib zuversichtlich, bleib gesund. Pass aufeinander auf und bis zum nächsten Sonntag. Ciao.